Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing my new makeup setup and it came out of it came about out of necessity. I had the Hermes glass door bookcase which my friend gave to me and I was so grateful because that is probably my ideal makeup situation. Having glass doors that I'm able to see all of my makeup products and I it it kind of broke on me. I I'm really grateful to my friend, but I don't think it was built exactly the right way. And then when I moved it from there to over here, it just kind of further broke it down or further deteriorated the cabinet. And then one day uh, I went to put something on the shelf and it completely broke. So the shelf came down and it just wasn't safe. I think it was actually really dangerous to have it in my room so I broke I tore it down and it made me so sad because I loved it uh, and I had to think of another way another way to set up my room without adding a lot of bulk because it is a very tiny room and not spend a lot of money so this is what I came up with and I'm still working on what kind of background I'm gonna have you guys see so over the next few videos there might be different backgrounds and you could also let me know which is your favorite as well uh, so yeah let's get started I'm really excited to share with you uh, my new makeup okay so area. I thought I would just share with you the overview of my new makeup setup and I really like the way that it turned out. I like having a separate area for my computer desk and for my makeup. And this desk, which is the Mickey desk from Ikea, it used to be over here. And I would have kept it there. Unfortunately, this cabinet, which I thought would fit under there, as you can see, it does not. So I kind of had to do a little rearranging. And I really like that uh, it has the, my makeup area has its own separate space. So... Let's get started on this corner right here, or this side of the wall. This is a clothes hanger, and I love the size. It's small enough to fit into my room and into this little area here. And I want to use this as, well, when I do clothes hauls, I think it'll be easier. But I want to put my favorite summer pieces on there. And right now I have my kimonos, and this is going to be stuff that I'm going to do a haul on. I'm just waiting for a few more online things to come in. So I just really like this hanger. It's called the Moolig, Moolig, I think. Uh, and then here is my uh, champagne poster. And this used to be on the other side. And I thought it would look pretty over here. I just love that picture. And yeah, I wanted to put it right here so I could look at it. <laughs> and then here, this down, this poster collage kind of thing, I've been... I worked on it for a little bit in my early 20s and then I just stopped working on it. It's just like uh, words and pictures that mean something to me. So I thought if I put it here, I mean, it's also decorative, but maybe I'll work on it again. I don't know. But yeah, that's just something I've been working on for a very long time. And then, and Let's this is this my side. mini TV. You can tell how old it is because it has a VHS player attached to it. I don't really watch that much TV, uh, but it's nice to have in here and it's small. So, uh, yeah, that's the TV that I have. Very, very old. And this is the Helmer cabinet. It's six drawers. It goes back pretty far and I won't go through everything in here. Uh, in detail but I will do a brief overview so this is my spa night routine which I have to do a video on and I do this every two to three nights and it's nice that it has its own little area I know I could go in here and this is where everything is that I need sorry I have my extra uh, battery attached to my phone because I try to film this before and my phone died this drawer has uh, my body lotions and special lotions uh, sunscreen back there and I don't have it filled up, and I don't really want to fill up every drawer, which I have right now. I'm going to try to uh, get rid of stuff. I just threw everything in here, and that cord is going to be annoying. Sorry. This is a face mask and makeup remover things in here. And then this drawer has all of my hair stuff. And you could fit a lot of products in this drawer cabinet which I was surprised because because it is tiny but it is pretty long so I have a lot of products in okay, here. Hair product part is filled up so it's a little bit tight to oh, hard to open 
Uh, and here are things that I use on a regular basis that I like to have backups of. So this should clear out some and I don't want to fill it so much that I have a hard time opening it every time. Makeup remover wipes, eye makeup remover, my perfume, extra uh, moisturizers, hair things. And then this last drawer has nothing to do with makeup, but I didn't really have any place to put it. These are my wax candles, uh, lighters, matches, uh, other special candles are in here. I'm not a candle person, or uh, I just really got into wax melts, but even that has died now down let's a little move bit. Now on to the desk area. This mirror is from Vanity Gore Hollywood. Hands down, my favorite gift of all time. If you are a makeup lover, I would highly suggest thinking about it or checking out the website. I believe they have sales. It's very infrequent, but you can, might be able to catch one. And if you see, three of the light bulbs are a little bit different because I'm trying to, once the other light bulbs that came with the mirror run out, I want to switch to those because they're a little bit li whiter and brighter. So this is the mirror. I love it. I, I just can't say anymore how much I love it. I just do. Uh, on the mirror itself, I have so, a couple of face mist, uh, top coats, um, little other odds and ends. That is the metal plate that I put my beauty blender and now I got some other junk on there. My my brushes that I'm currently using. This is from Home Goods. Uh, I think you can find it at other places as well as the Soho brush holder. This is just a reminder for me to use these products up because these don't last long mascaras eyeliners things like that and this bowl i'm not sure where it's from but i love it and i it's white so it kind of matches and then this is another white ceramic bowl which i really really like uh it's just simple but it fits a lot of stuff and these are the things that i am trying to uh use test out see if i like it all new products you guys might have seen remember seeing these things and then i do i use them i do a get ready with me and then i do a final review this basket of stuff are, is things i have to go through it this these products came from all the products that were in here so i went through it i still have to go through that cabinet uh, but these are things that I pulled out that I know aren't working, but I've kept around. I have to toss or uh, use it up. And then here's my mirror that I've had for a really long time. And it just is a really great mirror. It doesn't light up anymore, but that's okay. Uh, there's my coffee mug. And what's plugged into there right now is my straightener. And I just keep it over here. And then underneath the desk... Uh, is my empties bin and underneath that is uh, just the makeup that I'm gonna toss and then this there's garbage in there <laughs> this is all new stuff that I have to wait to use because I don't want to open it up at the moment so uh, just a lot of skincare products and then back there in that basket are things that I couldn't fit into this cabinet it is my coconut oil and then that rubbing alcohol uh, that leak so i just have to stand it up straight and then there is okay my now on to the main event i did decide to go with the alex nine drawer it was between that and the other alex drawers uh that one the one that's a little bit wider well much wider and smaller uh but then i would have to get two of those and that's not really great for a small room and this one has bigger drawers and i felt like it just was a better choice for me Okay, so on top, I have uh, my original beauty box, and I wasn't sure if, whether to put this here or not, but this is just where it ended up for now. This is the makeup products that I have to finish, and I could just grab it and put it on my vanity and use it up that way, and or use the products that way. And then here are the just the empty containers from the products that I'm using up, and I want to uh, put eventually put just my favorites in here and then I have a makeup book and that's my favorite picture of Ava and I just thought that it would be cute to put it on top of there and then next to it are all the products that aren't makeup that I use on a regular basis so there's my day cream my deodorant my dry shampoo uh, uh, eye cream things like that and now what is in this drawers I 
put everything in here. It was the same as the other cabinet. I just had stuff all over the floor. So I am going to go through these drawers sometime later and toss and test and do all that stuff that decluttering involves. So the first drawer has all of my, let me move over here, all of my face powders on this side. And then this is my highlighters uh, and bronzers. Then in here are all of my foundations, and then this, these are my concealers. And I do have a bunch of clear acrylic cubes and organizational things that I put away for now. It, some of the, those do fit in here, but I felt like it just took up a lot of room, and I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to still figure it out, but I want to share with you what I have done so far. And these are the non-grip things that I put on the bottom, and this, these are all my blushes. Now, this drawer is out of control. It is my lipsticks, and it is filled. I just, and I don't particularly like it like this because I can't see what's underneath. I mean, there's rows and rows of lipstick. Lip, lip products in here so I have to go through that okay this is all of my single eyeshadows my eyeliners uh, my eyebrow stuff eye primers and then it starts with the big drawers here uh, okay here are, are all of my big palettes some single I'm, I'm sorry some eyelashes false eyelashes in there and then here is all of my makeup brushes and some cases and things like that. So these are all my big ones and then back there are all my small ones. The next drawer is, this is all the makeup products that I have backups of. Uh, I kept some of the boxes of the Kat Von D stuff and then here are all my chapsticks that I couldn't fit into the lipstick drawer which is kind of bothering me but I'll keep it here for now and you can see this is really fits a lot of products in here and I really like that and then this drawer opened uh, these are just all of my medications and um, contacts band-aids things like that I wanted to give that. you one more look at my new makeup setup And that carpet is there because I always end up dropping stuff in my makeup area. And that kind of, I don't mind if that rug gets a little bit dirty. But the carpet, you know, that's something else. So it's harder to clean up. We are at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at my new makeup setup. I am really, really happy with it. I feel good and not as cluttered. Even though I did bring more stuff into here than take out. I am going to go through each of the drawers. And while everything's going to stay where it is, the things inside the drawers I'm gonna try to declutter and just simplify a little bit because I don't want each drawer to be packed the way it is I just had to like I, I, I had mentioned in the video I had to put the things away so it wasn't on the floor and I have so much more space now not sure why I need all that space but it's nice to be able to move around and not feel like I have nowhere to go uh, and I just absolutely having love having a little nook for myself where I could do my makeup and have all things pretty and just I really am happy and I felt like it was everything that I updated and got was less than $200 which I think was really good and I really like it and uh, I hope you guys did too so that is all I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you soon bye